Okay, well, it seems like we're good to go. Uh, again, I'm Brandon Litherland. I'm an aerospace engineer with NASA Langley Research Center in the Aeronautic Systems Analysis Branch. And uh, we're going to provide a quick update to the OpenVSP Ground School this morning. Uh, generally, what has been done over the last year or so, uh, talk about some of the milestones and some things coming around the bend, and uh, give you just a very short introduction as to what the Ground School is, if you've never heard of it before. And so uh, it has always kind of been the case that OpenVSP is, of course, accessible and very intuitive to use, uh, even to novice or inexperienced users uh, and people completely unfamiliar with aerospace, in fact. And that uh, was demonstrated just yesterday by uh, Nat Breton, who picked it up and made an amazing custom component in a matter of, you know, two or three months. But the individual subtleties and the depth of the, the power of this software can take years and years to really get the hang of. And there has always kind of been a demand for comprehensive, multi-format, updatable tutorials that people can get to easily, understand quickly, and move on. And the unfortunate side is that a written document requires quite a lot of time to set up uh, at the beginning even in an automated fashion, if we're trying to do things like generate docs from, say, the GitHub pages. And the OpenVSP core team and most of the power users simply don't have the time to do that right now, at least with not some dedicated effort. And so an online training program was deemed to be the best option where we can make a series of how-to videos that can walk people through the basics and even advanced topics in OpenVSP in a natural way that would follow along how one would actually execute these steps. And the decision was made to follow that mostly because we intended to try and shorten the learning curve for the largest audience. And that is typically students, people completely unfamiliar with the software or people that needed a reminder on how to do some specific thing without having to go in and read through a manual and find exactly what they needed to find. And so throughout this process, uh, NASA's Transformational Tools and Technologies uh, project has been generously supporting the work because it does provide guidance to our engineers and our graduates and our new hires on a tool that's very widely used at NASA. And the benefit of this is that because everything is open and published on our external facing sites, the public receives the benefit of this. And so the only things that the public doesn't see are the ones that have been isolated as either proprietary or not for release, and that can be kept on uh, on a different side. So what we decided was that some features of the ground school should be that it's easy to navigate, it's very intuitive, it lets you know where you are, and you can keep up to date with things. So not only does the interactive menu drop down and show you where you are in the training program by chapter, subject, and topic, but it also allows you to view our posts, get notified when new things are coming along, and uh, it also has example files that you can use so that you can jump to a topic, execute the steps, understand the concept, and then pick up something else. So uh, if you find anything that happens to be broken or if something isn't working for you, please use the contact form for feedback and to ask questions. And the entire site is searchable by keyword or topic or category. So you can quickly find the topics that uh, belong to what you're looking for. One of the things that we, we really wanted to focus in on was to make sure that the pages were responsive. So this works on monitors of any size. It works on tablets and smartphones and other devices. And every command within OpenVSP Ground School is intended to be active, meaning that you have to intend to do something. So the videos don't autoplay. It won't drop down a menu without you clicking the button. And that avoids not only the long press issue that uh, is prevalent on some mobile devices, but it's also intended to be accessible to people of all ranges of physical ability. So some folks might use either visual or auditory commands to interact with their computers and having a mouse button hover and accidentally activate a menu when that's not what was intended can be problematic. So we did our best to try and make sure that this would work well for everyone. So uh, very briefly, we'll cover some updates and milestones. Um, around January of last year uh, is when, or I guess January of this year, is when all of the chapter one content was made public. So it was very short after the uh, workshop last year. And everything in chapter one ended up being over 150 tutorial topics in 19 fundamental subjects. 
And this is by far the largest group of content on the site. Um, the other chapters will not be this big. We had to lay a good foundation so that everything else would make sense to you. And of course, all this stuff is searchable because you have the introductory paragraphs, you've got the video, you've got the categories and the hits. It will bring up what you're trying to search for. The chapter two content uh, is almost complete. So the production of the videos uh, are, is effectively complete. We're just making the pages. And that uh, covers things like design intent into your model with links, custom parameters, sets, subsurfaces, and the like. Uh, just to let you know, we do have a final TQ milestone to wrap up the ground school content by the close of uh, FY22, so in about one year. And that means that the baseline functional site is effectively complete, and you'll be able to find all of the stuff that was attended with the, intent, the original release at the site. And everything beyond that point should be carrying out updates and maintaining the site and adding new features. So there shouldn't be a large uh, continued effort beyond that point of trying to make some big contribution to a, a chapter, for example. The site has also been upgraded to WordPress 5, so you'll notice that some of the videos might play a little better on various browsers. It's all been bumped up to HTML5. And uh, so what we had tried to do with forcing the player to go to 1080p, um, there's a reason that you don't necessarily want to do that because some folks bandwidth might not handle that right out the gate. So we just allow you to select the quality that you want. And as far as minor updates and fixes, um, the subscription links, since the upgrade to WordPress 5, should work correctly and send out confirmation emails. So uh, I've shown it to work on Gmail. It's apparently working on Outlook and Yahoo. And if that doesn't work, and I'll show you where that is, you can use the contact form and let us know that it's not working, and you can make a subscription request by another means. We've also updated the rounded rectangle and the wedge pages to update the changes and all of the propeller introductory content uh, is there as well. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and escape out of this presentation and bring up the website, and I'll just show you a couple of things that have been added and uh, show you where these things are. So give me just a moment here, and I'll bring this over. Uh, so when you go to the OpenVSP Ground School page, you're gonna land on this main page and then you know, here we, of course, have our disclaimer that the content is being developed. Um, you know, we have links to the 2020 workshop recordings for all the subjects that we haven't got to yet. We'll also include the ones to this year's workshop. It'll give you a link to the Google group so you can ask specific questions there. And then you can track our posts. Now, if you want to be notified of any new updates, you can subscribe using this link. It'll take you to the form where you can put in your email address and it will send you a confirmation email. Or you can go to the contact form that's either here in the menu at all times or right here on the main page. So like I talked about, all of the navigation is here on the side. You can expand it out and take a look at, say, the introduction to the basic modeling process where it walks you through building up a transport aircraft and even going into things like details of individual cross sections and the behaviors associated with those. And then we have links to various OpenVSP resources, including the old workshops, the Google group, the hangar, etc. And of course, the example files that are all zipped up and ready to go so you can follow along if you want to. This is where you can find the search bar. If that's a bit inconvenient, just let me know. I'll add another one that's a bit easier to locate and to uh, make it a bit more clear that that's available to you. Um, and so while we're at it, let's pop over to the subscription page and I will show you where the, the piece has been updated. So here at the subscriptions page, we have a subscribe to widget where you should be able to just type in your email and click subscribe or unsubscribe to change your status. It should send out a confirmation email to that address and will only add you to the list after you've clicked subscribe. So it lets me track if there are unconfirmed requests out there, lets me send you reminders and things. If for whatever reason that does not work and that is still broken, you are more than welcome to use these two forms and uh, it's uh, protected by CAPTCHA. So we try and you know get the bots out of our system. But just type your email address in, click submit, it will send me a request and I'll add you manually. Or if you don't want to be on the list anymore, type your email here and it will say that you want to unsubscribe from the list and I'll take care of it myself. 
So uh, it seems like we've got just a couple of minutes here um, before Rob is scheduled to give his talk. That um, covers most of what I wanted to bring you up to speed on on the ground school. Um, apparently some folks still aren't really aware that this uh, has turned into one of the, like, the de facto sources for training and information for uh, OpenVSP. And um, it's not really intended to replace discussions on like file format or detailed guidance. This is more of a comprehensive list of how-to videos. So the stuff coming down the line here next will be things like VSP Arrow and doing model analyses. And then we'll get into some more advanced stuff later.